Hey everybody, it's a professional mad scientist here. What we have is approximately 10 pounds of ammonia nitrate. Some of it started hardening up on me a little bit, but hey, it'll be all right. So we're gonna make 10 pounds of tannerite, which is gonna require about 22 teaspoons of aluminum powder. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two. Some of my aluminum powder hardened up. I broke it as much as I broke it up as much as I could. So after, so what we want to do is just the, the, the mixture is very forgiving. What you want to do is you want to get everything coated gray, gray aluminum. But what we're going to add to this thermite, I mean this tannerite, is red iron oxide. That's what they use to make thermite. Thermite is used to out in the field by the railroad to, work, road, to weld railroad ties together. And it's also used in grenades that'll burn a hole right through a tank or, or an engine on something if they want to disable some weapon, weaponry out in the field. So what we want to do first is get ammonia nitrate coated all gray. So we're kind of getting there. And we'll be back when we add the red iron oxide. And I got these chemicals from alphalabchemicals.com and I found ammonium nitrate at another place online. We'll be back after I turn all this gray. You can see some of the aluminum powder is kind of in hardened rocks, but it'll still work. Okay, we've mixed uh, ammonia nitrate with aluminum powder. We got everything pretty much gray. Now we're gonna put in the iron oxide. We ended up putting approximately 40 teaspoons in here to get everything coated gray. So I'm gonna just guess and add about 15 scoops of iron oxide. There's one, two, three, four, five. So we'll be, back, we'll be back after I add these 15 and I'll show you what the consistency looks like. Okay, everybody, professional mad scientist here again. Okay, we've added the red iron oxide now. This is approximately what it should look like now. I ended up adding 25 teaspoons of red iron oxide and approximately 40 teaspoons of aluminum powder. We're going to pour this in here now, and next time we're going to be at the range. Okay. Adding our mixture to our paint gallon can. And this is, after we're all said and done, it's probably a little bit over 10 pounds. This container was actually a pretzel stick. We're about 5 eighths full. But after adding everything to it, I can probably go below this line a little bit. We're pretty much full there. Okay, we'll be back. Refrigerator now. The other one? Yeah, keep going.
after that.